Pretty cool, right? What if I told you that you can create animations like this automatically without being a motion designer and even sell them for real money? Welcome back to Automation Tribe. Today, I'm going to show you an amazing automation that combines Airtable with N8N to generate motion graphics on autopilot. With this system, you can create logo animations, commercials, animated B-rolls, text animations, video edits, 3D product animations, visual effects, and so much more. And if you've ever looked at the prices for these services on Fiverr or Upwork, trust me, you'll be shocked at how much people are paying for this kind of work. Stick with me because at the end, I'll show you a few more results that this automation can generate. First of all, I want to let you know that this entire automation is available inside the Automation Tribe Premium Community in the Classroom section. There, you'll get access to the N8N workflow so you can import it directly into your account, and you'll also find the Airtable base template that you can copy and start using right away. Once you're in N8N, you can simply create a new automation and then import the workflow by clicking on the three dots on the right side. That way, you'll have the entire setup ready to go in just a few seconds. And for those of you who are not members yet, don't worry, stick around because I'll walk you through everything in this tutorial. It's very easy to follow along. All right, now let's do a live demo so you can see this automation in action. First, I'll go into Airtable and add my two images, the first image and the last image. Next, I'll choose a random animation prompt from the dropdown. Remember, I've already added 50 different options you can play with, so you can test and experiment with all kinds of animations. Once everything is ready, I'll go back to N8N and click on Execute Workflow. The automation will now take those images and the selected prompt, send them to FAL.AI, and in a few minutes, the final result will automatically appear back in Airtable, right here in the Final Result column. In the meantime, let me show you how this automation was built. Let's start with the Airtable base, because this is where all the magic begins. I want to quickly explain each column so you know exactly how it works. In this Airtable base, each row represents one animation task, and the columns define the details of that task. Let me explain each column. One, number. This is a simple number field that keeps track of the record ID or sequence. It helps organize the animations in order. Two, animation prompt. This is a single select field. I've already added around 50 different animation prompts you can use and test on your graphics. For example, center expand, shrink and grow, or zoom out reveal. Three, status. This is a single select field as well. You can set it to values like done or in progress, so you always know whether an animation is finished. Fourth, first image. This is an attachment field where you upload the starting image for the animation. Five, last image, another attachment field where you upload the final image that the animation will transition to. Six, final result. This is also an attachment field or a URL preview where the generated animation file gets saved after the automation is complete. You can click play to instantly preview the motion graphic. Now let me walk you through the N8N automation. This is the workflow that connects Airtable with the motion graphics generation. When clicking Execute Workflow, this is the manual trigger that starts everything. You click it when you want to generate a new animation. Set API keys. For this tutorial, I'm using fl.ai. All you need to do is add some credits to your account then go to your account settings and click on API keys. There you'll find your personal API key. Just copy it and paste it here into the second node and you're ready to go. Search records. This step connects to Airtable and pulls the animation tasks that are ready to be processed. I've also added a formula in Airtable to make sure it only extracts the rows that are not already marked as done. HTTP request. Here the workflow sends the request to FAL.AI. It passes the two images, the first and last image, along with the selected animation prompt. So FAL.AI knows exactly what kind of motion graphic to generate. Wait, since rendering takes some time, we need to pause the workflow. 
I've set this to 300 seconds, that's five minutes, to give Fald AI enough time to process and generate the animation. HTTP request. Check status. After waiting, this step checks back with FAL.AI to confirm if the animation is ready to be downloaded. Update record. Finally, the finished animation is uploaded back into Airtable, directly into the final result column. At the same time, the status field is updated to done, so you know the task is complete and you don't process the same row again. Let me show you the result we just started a few minutes ago. You can get a better idea of what this automation can really do. So, as you've just seen, with a simple Airtable base and an N8N workflow, you can generate professional quality animations completely on autopilot. You can use this to create logo animations, commercials, text effects, product videos, B-roll animations, and much more. And the best part is, people are already paying really good money for these kinds of services on platforms like Fiverr and Upwork. If you want to get your hands on this exact automation, it's available inside the Automation Tribe Premium Community, where you'll find the full workflow and the Airtable base ready to copy and start using today. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Automation Tribe, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of the automations I share in the future. Let me show you some demos that I've generated with this automation. Here's the first one. Center Expand. The image starts as a small circle in the center and smoothly expands outward. Next, we have Shrink and Grow. Watch how the first image shrinks down to a single point and then the new image grows right out of that same point. Here's another variation of shrink and grow. This one also transitions seamlessly from one graphic to the next. This one is called pulse scale. Notice how the image quickly scales up and down during the transformation, creating a really dynamic effect. Now, let's check out zoom out reveal. It starts zoomed in on a detail of the first image and then zooms out to reveal the bigger picture. And finally, here's Zoom and Focus. The animation zooms into the center of the first image until it fills the screen and then zooms back out to show the second image. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.